and welcome to episode 124 of Trusty Hogs, the I podcast didn't. where we tell you about our perfect lives. We don't even moan a little bit. No. I'm Catherine Bohort, she's Helen Bauer, and then we help you solve the problems of your own lives. How are you, Helen? I thought we were going to say the number together. Well, like, welcome to episode 124. But I already said it. I know, I'm just gutted. Through the fog, step forth the trusty hogs. Yeah. And they will solve them Or maybe they won't And that's your problem They'll have guests And Andrew White on the tech Oh, it's Helen and Catherine As the trusty hogs Trust the trusty hogs Or maybe not I'm good, I'm thriving, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, thank you so much for asking I'm actually feeling a bit better today. Oh, you're still talking? Okay, great. Only because... I was literally about to congratulate you on asking me how I am for once, and then you were like, (laughs) I'm actually... (laughs) Look, every friendship group has that girl. How are you? I'm fine. (laughs) You don't get to say that and be that girl. I am that girl. I am that girl. How was your week? I am that girl. Um, Good, the sun's out, and I walked this morning. Oh, isn't it nice out today? From Waterloo Bridge to Soho. Is that a long walk? No, it's about mm. 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but past the Lion King. So, a bit of fun. Very nice. Yeah. <gasps> Actually, 15 minutes. Now you tell me how you are. <laughs> I'm really good. I've had two lovely treats. I've been away for Valentine's Day, oh, as you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, Ellen took me to Eastwell Manor, which is this lovely place in Kent. Kent, turns out, gorgeous. I get why it's called the Garden of the UK now. It's Garden so lovely. Of England. Right, yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, that makes more sense to be fair. Scotland's lovely. Um, <laughs> Garden of England, it's beautiful. Um, what are St. George's flags, though? Not and where we were. St. George's not though. where we were. Um, we, it was honestly stunning, and all of the snowdrops were out. So there was carpets upon carpets of snowdrops along the hills where we were walking. It was absolutely exquisite. We did. Was this the Valentine's surprise? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I have so much so much to tell you. Okay, so first of all, <laughs> okay, first of all, we went to the spa, which was divine, but mm. there was a um, locker that had, it came out like an L shape. This is going to sound weird, right? Like a sort of a weird a judging bit, but it came out exactly. Like in a gym locker. Yeah, and it came out exactly where my forehead is, and I banged my head on it. <laughs> Which was excruciatingly Wait, painful. Wait, like did you walk into it or did it come no, out? No, I opened it? it and it whacked me straight in the head. At which point I saw a sign that said, be careful of the lockers. And I was like, they could have done with that beforehand. <laughs> then I went to the pool. Then I came back to get my stuff. As you do. At this point, I already have a bump on my head. It's like <laughs> popping up its pink. It's not cute. I do it again. I now have two giant <laughs> golf ball size. Well, like like gobstopper size. In the golf. shape of a heart for Valentine's No. <laughs> I was like, are you fuck? At this point, no. it was so sore that I like, you know, when you go silent because if you don't, you'll scream. Yeah. And Ellen came in and was like, are you okay? And I was like, I am. <laughs> so the women around me all knew what happened, but no one's saying anything. No. Like, well, because I you know and the kind person would have been like, are you okay? Yeah. But I think you could sense it was such a cra- loud crack <sighs> that it like I wasn't okay. And that anyone speaking to me would be bad. I don't know what it was wrong with me. If I was coming on my period or like what was up with my spatial awareness. <laughs> As we're leaving, I like bend down to get my bag. I bang my head. What did you bang your head on that Off time? the same locker door, but it's open. The same door? Ellen's in the next, she's in like a changing room next and she's like, did you just hit your head again? At this point, all the women around me are like obviously trying not to laugh because I am so angry at the question that I think I look like I'm about to... So, a beautiful Valentine's Day is what I'm saying. And um, I came back with two giant things on my head. And then I've since then had quite a lot of... I had a really horrific migraine on oh Tuesday. My, well, yeah, I had you... to pull a gig. Oh it was awful. God. And then I um, and almost like fell asleep on the way home. Uh, basically, I had to pull in because I was uh, like an hour's drive and I was like, I can't do this. It was... This well, sounds like a doctor's I thing, guess though. I got like a concussion on Valentine's Day. But, uh, but, but also, <laughs> um, we... When we finished our delicious dinner, we watched Sunil's new lovely television show on the, on terrestrial TV. We watched it with adverts. Alice and Jack. Yeah, so exciting. So cute. 
But truly, we had a gorgeous time. We had a really gorgeous time. It's you so beautiful. You had a hotel and a spa and a concussion. What more do you and want? And she built in stopping off of the Ma- McDonald's drive through on the way there, which I think is actually pretty wonderful. Stop. Yeah, we arrived at this genuine manor, like the most beautiful building I've ever been. Oh it looked like a, a like a National Trust. I'm Catherine, I, I too have gone to a very fancy spa once with my mother. Oh, gore. It's we the shared same. a bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> But we arrived. <laughs> <laughs> she um she tried to encourage me to do we exercise were... classes with her. I didn't have any uh, workout clothes with me, so I don't own them. And so she did a yoga class in jeans to prove a point. <laughs> Are you okay, babe? <laughs> I was just going to say we arrived at the lovely manor with McDonald's and giant fandas and that felt very like a glamorous juxtaposition. Right. Yeah. It's like when you win an Oscar and you go to In-N-Out Burger. Oh my God, It's like a thing. Yes. It's, like a, it's a crazy thing they do. Oh my God, that's right. So when I banged my head, I was just Jennifer lawrence it. Or where you Thank hit him. by Cupid's bow, which in modern times is a locker. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> something to think about is saying well, that's a nice fa- I, it I, was really gorgeous like she had a massage booked for me when I got there and she didn't even book herself one just one for me it was so nice stop it it was really nice that's really special Catherine. yeah she did good she I did am, good I'm happy for you thank you did you get a present as well like a physical thing that was the pre- I mean it was gorgeous so nothing to unwrap <laughs> and then it's <was> love. <laughs> I need to do this. I need to do this. It's a yeah, tough time yikes. of year for You're me. You're kind of mean, huh? Well, it's because I'm not having any success. So success at what? Are you actually on Hinge? Mm-hmm. Are you talking to people? Two. <laughs> One of them's got COVID. <laughs> oh, 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 it's a really good excuse. But he also hasn't responded for three days, so I'm like, oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, that I must killed. be it. <laughs> Killed one already. <laughs> oh no. That might be it. Hey Andrew, what else can sometimes mean people but don't I reply meet, to you on um, I did date meet a guy. No, I'm not being ghosted. I'm not Andrew. Am I? Oh my god, am I? Maybe. But I haven't even met him yet. You can't ghost me before meeting me. Oh, you, they can ghost you from like message one. You piece of shit! <laughs> Do I, what do I, what do, what do I do then? Do I no, no, you don't, you no, no, you don't do anything. You don't do anything. <laughs> do no, not message do him. not message thing. Are you ghosting? I'm not being ghosted. Don't write any of this. Helen, please stop typing. <laughs> I'm not typing, I'm reading. What did you say last, three days ago? Still feeling bad, question mark. Damn it. You piece of shit. I know the area you live in. I will find what? you. What? No, that's not a normal thing to say. And that's very Andrew of you. Don't do that. <laughs> Little Mr. Drive by, do you have my wellies? I'm going to end his fucking life. I did get my wellies. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You ghost me, I'll make you a fucking ghost. <laughs> I'm actually not that fussed. I don't know why I said that. Um, I met someone last night you though at a gig. Fussed. And I was like, oh my God, I need to find out if they're single. Really? You know, like it happens like every now and again when you're just sort of like, I need to know. I need to know. Comedian or? Uh, not comedian. No, no, no. No, God, no. No, no, no. Just like person at the gig not an audience member like someone who works at the venue and then Cute. i don't want to be any more specific than that. no don't Do you know be I mean? don't be <laughs> like, on air um, tell me at lunch but i was like i have to find out if they're single <gasps> but it's not instagram but i'll show you guys at lunch and you guys can have a look but I, I don't think it's instagram clear but in the same way that like i think it's That's not so clear hard. on my instagram either i worry that since there's like too many pictures of me and Sunil hanging out at home that i'm like oh everyone thinks because people some people do think we're a couple i'm telling them you are you have to stop doing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. so messed up. Yeah, obviously I want it to happen. So oh, I really hope I'm not being ghosted. By that guy who's it's... like third on your list after the guy from the venue and Sunil? Yeah, yeah, yeah Sunil's on my list still. <laughs> my number one. Can, my ride or die. Can you remind us of your pact with Sunil? <laughs> Please. If we get to 40 and... Um, Neither of us have found anyone. Well, I mean, he's already in his 40s. But if I get to 40 and I find anyone have children, then um, he has committed to, yes, he will put a bolt in the back of my head <laughs> and put me out of my misery. Do you mean a bullet? A bolt. No, like a, like like a cow. Like a cow, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know why I brought that up. It's just whenever you do it, normally it's very funny because you do it with a very jovial tone. I think usually you came it's in very because somber. Like, we've just come in after the Valentine's chat. Yeah, I'm so like, sorry. It's just sort of like, it's just, a, it's just a different me. vibe from me. It's just a different. Um, but Sunil's show was very good, but very upsetting. Yeah. I, I really cried. 
a lot. It was a lot for me. I haven't watched the whole thing yet. Have you finished? I I wanna. I so I've got one episode left, mm. but I don't think I'm mentally ready. To I get do that. It There's a lot of mentally challenging, like like sort of like emotionally manipulative TV going about Which at the minute. Is my favorite sort of TV. Have you like, watched one I, day? No. But I know the story, so like I yeah. will at some point. Um, but like I love emotional. Like, did you know that there were no gay people in the nineties? That's what I learned from it. No, <laughs> no, there were. There's a big clear. Elton John. No, not in this version. No, he was he out then. <laughs> I'm just like joking because there's no gay character, and I want there always oh, right. to be. <laughs> there's no gay character in One Day. No. Who was it written by? Is it David Nichols? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. I don't know what that means. I've never read. Either way, he seems nice. Yeah, he sorry, seems nice. I like him. Yeah, to be fair, actually, there aren't any gay characters in any of his books. Oh, they're not. I've read them pretty much all of them. Yeah. What are his other books? Um, Sweet Sorrow. Ooh. Us. Us. Um, I haven't read and, that. Um, Start for Ten. I have it. I love Starter for Ten. Yeah. There's a Starter for Ten musical, which <gasps> is in development in Oxford at the moment with Mel Gibson. What is this the best day of your life? Have you orgasmed? Why are you being quiet? This is so weird. Your oh. mouth's so wide. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, <someone. laughs> Who who is, who is she? The mum of the main boy? I don't know. I, I've not. I've not looked. Come on. <laughs> Do you want me to find out? <laughs> this is so exciting. Also, I saw Hades Town. How I was it? To say that. Oh. I was enchanted. Was it amazing? I'm Fuck. Absolutely enchanted. Also, I met. There was I a couldn't go of in the end, there. listener. Oh yeah, Catherine couldn't go in the end. She had they a work went. In progress. Hogs went. There were a couple of hogs of course there. They did. And um, I don't know if one of them was a hog. She was like, I really like your comedy. And Aww. then I did meet Hog, and she was like, oh, you helped me for my master's. And like Gwyneth, well, I went with my friend Gwyneth in the end. And she overheard it. And Gwyneth was like, you're like famous now. And I was like, oh my God, no, I'm not. But it felt so cool. So but thank you, you so much for it. saying hello. Yeah. Yeah, it actually <laughs> felt really good. And then I met someone famous. Fell to fucking pieces. Who? Oh, Catherine, it was so who? embarrassing. Who? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Who, 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 who? So I was, okay. So like, I'd been recognised at the theatre, so I was feeling like pretty, like fucking, like just cool and like awesome or whatever in front of my friend. And then um, in the interval, I go out for a cigarette, Gwyneth goes to the toilet and she's going to come and meet me outside, but she doesn't come outside. So I'm just sort of like, oh, she must have like, the toilet's got yeah. less of you. Thanks for thinking. I go inside and she's talking to this guy and like I vaguely recognize him and she's like and he's like oh, I recognize you and I was like oh we've probably met you, you, you old friend of Gwyneth. He's like oh yeah I've known Gwyneth for years and I was like oh we must have met like a party or something and she's talking to him and we're all chatting and then somehow we get onto the subject of war, um, which sounds like it's my doing but it actually wasn't my doing. It wasn't my doing. Uh huh. And what you have to know is earlier that evening me and Gwyneth went for food together. We went to Taro, you know the Japanese place. No, is it nice? Lovely. Yum. And I got the Taro special, which is basically. Every Everything on the menu in a box. That sounds delightful. <laughs> yeah. And um, basically, I was telling her how much I love Masters of the Air because I love it so much. And then I'm talking to this guy, and then we get onto war, and I go, Oh my God, love, I love Bannon Brothers. Have you seen Masters of the Air? And he's like, I'm, yeah, I'm in it. And I was like, Oh my God. And Gwyneth was like, mm. <laughs> And I was like, Oh my, oh my God, it's cross! It's cross! Like, I, I already had my phone going up like this. No! <laughs> like, and everyone else we'd met had been so, no one asked for a picture with me. Everyone was just sort of like, hi, love your comedy, hi. Your podcast had me through my masters. I was like, oh my God, slay, slay, slay. Everyone was so normal. I was like this. He said, you can hug me. I was already halfway in. Oh! I'm not joking. Gwyneth had to take three pictures of us and I'm just like, <laughs> like baring my teeth. He's cross from Masters of Air. I haven't seen it, so I don't okay, know what any of this But it's means. like, this is like me meeting like, the, the oh my god it was so and Gwyneth was like he's in it he's in it and he's like yeah I'm like one of the leads and I was like oh my god you are like it just took so long because he's diff got a different accent I've got a different accent in the show and stuff I lost my fucking mind so Neil That's lost his lot. mind too I sent him the picture and he was like oh my god and I was like oh my fucking god oh my fucking god all about Hades Town which is also a wonderful musical did you see him leave just to go home and get away from you or no Gwyneth took me to a pub immediately after that makes sense quickly. and yeah, I was yeah, like oh yeah. did he not say we could meet him in the foyer and she's like I don't think so and I was like he definitely did but um, no she took me to a pub yeah really fast is actually. he still friends with Fuck her you, Gwyneth. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah 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 she's still cool with everyone and also she was like honestly that wasn't embarrassing I think he kind of liked it okay I think she was being very sweet but she yeah, was like it honestly like it, was, it was worse in your head than it actually was in reality. But he definitely went, you are allowed to hug me, but I was definitely like half physically on him. That's intense, man. Yeah. Gosh. I think that's an act of kindness though, because he can see it happening. So he's just like, I don't want you to worry about this respectively. So I'll just like get in with the permission yeah. before you, you get to the 100% mark. But it was so, it's such a shame because 
the people I met that day were so cool. Like, yeah. I, I mean, and you learned nothing like, from the hugs. Coming into the theatre and this girl was like, oh, you had, oh, I love your comedy. And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. Can we you was, imagine we me? We were sitting really close. We were sort of chatting for the show started with Gwyneth and her friends. And then I was coming out and she's like, oh, and then the one was like, oh, you had, I, I love your podcast so much. Like, so chill, Can so Can you kind. imagine me if I told you that somebody hugged me without asking me if it was okay? I know, it's so inappropriate. I don't, I'm not proud of myself. I would be so angry. But on, but usually I'm not that person. I've never asked for a picture with anyone. Like, can I see the picture? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, but Catherine, I'm I'm grinning. I like, can't wait to see it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Were you much taller than him? <laughs> yeah, like double his size in every way. Yeah. You are so, if I may, red. <laughs> <laughs> But I just had about a family's portion of Japanese food as well. Oh <laughs> my God, this is funny. Should this is so funny. You look like we'll you're about to bring Instagram. him into a headlock. Like it's meant to be a casual <laughs> arm lean, but it's just a bit too grippy. That's so funny. <laughs> yes, He's really, he was really nice and a very good actor. Are we ready to introduce our guests? Yes. So that you can have a calm down moment? Yeah. Okay, great. Everyone, please welcome to the podcast. The wonderful Pramanya Come on, are you kidding me? That it's was okay. One more time. Yeah. One, two, three. Pramanya Pillay. <laughs> It's me, Catherine Bohart, and I'm going on tour. My show is called Again with Feelings. And oh my gosh, you guys, I would absolutely love if you bought a ticket in advance because um, people keep sending me emails about the places that aren't selling well and it's very stressful. So <laughs> I'm coming to the Soho Theatre from the 4th of March to the 23rd of March. There's a week gap in the middle, of course there is, but don't worry about it. And then I'm going to Australia, to Melbourne and Sydney. But I'm back then. I'm doing MacFest in Wales. I'm doing Brighton, Aldershot, Edinburgh, Glasgow, York, Newcastle, Norwich, Winchester, Cambridge, Oxford, Bath, Birmingham, Manchester, Leeds, Liverpool. I'm now doing Bolton I'm, we're adding Bolton Sheffield Exeter Corsham Bristol Coventry Guildford Portsmouth Swindon Dublin and then I'm back in London but the point is I have a lot of tickets to sell and I'm not, I'm not really sleeping so um, grab a ticket hey grab a ticket at katherinebohart.com you'd go wouldn't you Helen I've been I loved it have you been? Leicester. Oh, you went to a work in progress. Yeah. Yes, that's true. But it's going to be better than that even, I hope. And also, you're going to have the best time in Bolton. It's my favourite accent in the UK. Bolton. Bolton. Hello. I guess I'll find out what it is when I get there. Yeah. Please come to the tour. <laughs> Bonza, good eye, and welcome to Trusty Hogs in Australia. Um, We're going to be bush pigs. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of an Australian version of Trusty Hogs. I think what we need to say is we're going on tour, both going, of us. Yes, to sorry. Australia. Australia. We'll both be playing. I'll be playing Melbourne and Sydney. You'll be playing Melbourne and? Sydney and Brisbane and Perth. Fabulous. I will be in Melbourne. I'll be at the Western 3 at the International Comedy Festival. You can buy tickets for my show now. And at Sydney, I'll be at the Factory Theatre and you can buy tickets for my show now. And in Melbourne, I'll be at the Greek, which I have looked on Google Maps and it is very close to Catherine's venue. Woo-hoo! Isn't that so cute? I'll We're super pick close. Me up after. And then, no, I think you'll be picking me up. Oh. I think. That's I need standard. to check that. Um, but come pick us up. Come pick come us up. Come pick us up. Um, Sydney, I'll be at the Factory Theatre with Catherine, and that's super close to the Cute. ice cream place. Um, Brisbane, I'll be at Powerhouse. And in Perth... Can I'll a powerhouse be inside of a powerhouse? She will be. <laughs> I'll be bloody Sorry. there. And at Perth, I'll be at the Perth Comedy Festival uh, for the Regal Theatre. Cool. And we'll also bring in Trusty Hogs Live yeah. to Australia. Melbourne and Sydney, bitches. It's on sale. I've never said bitches before in my life. It like felt I, really wrong. It felt really weird. I said it and I was Bitches, like, get your tickets. No, that's hideous. <laughs> well, anyway, see you there, Australia. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. No, we've been over this. Aussie. Aussie. Hoggy, hoggy, hoggy. Yeah. Oh. We oh. both got it wrong. Uh, see you there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Bravania. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Good. How's your day been? <laughs> yeah, really good. I'm sorry that Helen's already threatened to do your hairstyle. <laughs> no, I want her to so much. I, I want everyone to. I've tried space buns before with the yeah. hair down the back. I just can't get them matching. And it just, I you just, have to ugh. not worry about it being yeah, perfect. Yeah, they don't match. Yeah. They definitely don't match. Yeah. Yours look like they match. No, they don't. There's they two do different look hair pretty. bands here. This is oh like God. a different hair band. I wish I didn't know that. That's going to bother me all the time. <laughs> I just remember once doing the two like pigtails either side, yeah. but, like going back. 
pigtails yeah. mm. with the rest of the hair down. Like Angelica. And one of my yeah. friends, I'm not going to say who it is, but she knows who she is, went, oh, come on, we're in our 30s now. No. And it's over for me. Ugh. It's over. I would take it out at that point as well. I'd be like, okay, no. I'm going home. The thing is, I've also judged women before. I once, okay, I remember once going to a club in Berlin <laughs> and there was a woman <laughs> in her like- It's a crazy <laughs> place to be judging women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that is like, I once went to the most inclusive kind of queer cool <laughs> space and I was like, no, you didn't. Not the clubs I went to. Not the club. I went to the like two clubs in Germany that play actual music with lyrics. Okay. And um, she was like 50 wearing a halter neck with bunches. And I was like, no, oh, you no, can't. she sounds so you you cool. can't do Yeah, bunches. I think she sounds fine. Yeah. And then because I judged, I feel like now I deserve to be judged. But you've been judged now, so now it's like karma's even out. So do yeah. you reckon space buttons? Yeah, 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 do it again. Yeah. yeah. And if anyone says anything, like, go harder. Put like little butterfly clips in it. Mm. I have yeah. butterfly clips yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. I they love are so butterfly amazing. clips. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're too, so good. They're, like the delicacy of them. But like, if you go into Claire's accessories now, it's exactly the same stock as it was <laughs> in 2004. Yeah, are they glittery still? Like, it's mm. all the same stock. The only thing they've got rid of is those earrings with like the plastic, like little bits of it in all the different colours. Remember well, the they're like the phase? blobby earrings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Blobby they're yeah, the yeah, only yeah. ones yeah. that I've got. I Why have you got Claire's accessories in so long? Yeah. Catherine, there's one just there. No, there isn't. There is. still on the high street. Mm, yeah, 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 loads. Yeah, there's one on Oxford Street. Yeah, I actually think there's it's two. It's right there. Like, they're like quite close to each Shall other. Shall we do that at lunch? Get <laughs> our ears pierced. That would be, I already have my ears pierced. <laughs> no, no, get again. another one, get another I one. I already have them pierced again. Get I, a third. I, think I, I had, had them one done in that one. <laughs> I've had my ears pierced right there. I don't want to do That's that. That's what you had ears? I've paid well, quite no, a lot of money to have one. mine pierced with a needle. I'd rather do that. Thank they you. use guns there. No, yeah. thank you. With a needle included yeah, in it. Yeah, no, that's all right. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> no, I'm really good. Yeah, yeah. what have you been up to? Um, not much, really. Just work and um, gigs. That's uh, fair. Do you have a job that isn't comedy? I do have a job. Do that isn't you? Comedy. Yeah. What's yeah. your job that isn't oh, comedy? I'm always so impressed okay. by these it's people. Mad. No, no, I'm it's always mad. so impressed by these people. Okay, so I am the digital content creator for the Faulty Towers immersive dining experience. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that when you asked? No, she didn't. How do you Look not? at her face. She just definitely did it. She's still processing what that job could Say possibly it be. One more time for the listener. The, uh, the digital content creator for the Faulty Towers immersive dining experience. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's jarring me in so many ways. The first thought, obviously, is just surely it's just a meme of two soups, mm. um, over and over and over again. Surely. The second thing I guess is as well. Uh, straight out the gate, I'm like, there is a Faulty Towers di immersive dining yeah. experience. Yeah, yes. yeah. Fantastic. We will revisit it. My third. Have you I'm... not done it? Have, you, not... have you done it? No, I haven't, oh. but I dream Let's... of the day. You should both do Manuel. it. Manuel. <laughs> yeah, it's classic <laughs> stuff like that. And my... Sibyl's a nag. Manuel's <laughs> foreign. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> I'll be honest. The third thing that's coming to mind, if you, if I may, is um, it is so old. Yes. And um, digital content feels new, yes. if you will. Yes. So what I am is the bridge. Okay. The bridge between I the just two. assume they would send like letters, actual newsletters. <laughs> and the other thing to say is, if I may, the last thing is, why are, with all due respect to you, but because you're a young, interesting, funny person, why are you doing that? And do you like it? I do like. I really enjoy it. It's um, it is a fun job. Um, How does one get? That job. Well, I just linked in. I just yeah. saw her literally. I just saw her. I needed a job and I saw her LinkedIn and I applied. She's a Nepo baby. Her dad's got please. Yeah. <laughs> That's how she got it. Are you happy now? Can My you dad tell is man well. <laughs> Come on, Helen. Representation matters. God. Wait, so what? Yeah, it's great. The the great thing is when we do Vox Pops in the city. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good because just because it's just like because I don't think people seeing like Sybil, Basil, and Manuel out and about in London is a huge deal. Like they're just like oh, classic London. But I think it's really strange to see like a small Indian girl with them. <laughs> 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 like, I think that's what's really weird because then it's like oh, have they color blind casted Polly? <laughs> like that's uh, so what I think the vibe. Just, is. I wish they had. I wish they had. We do have an international crowd and a lot of very very young people. Faulty Towers. Please, it's a, it's I'm still TV, confused. It's a TV show set in a hotel in Bog Bognor Regis. Yes. Talkie. Thank you. Talkie. Talkie. Yes. Apologies, Andrew. I've seen what episode. In Talkie. <laughs> I've of never seen Andrew it. Andrew knows it. Like the youngest here. Yeah. Like, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so in Talkie. You he lost out on that job, but okay. he will not show up. Like, take, miss an opportunity to show up. It's run by John Cleese and his then wife. Yes. Right? Sybil. Uh, Sybil and um, no no his wife is the young woman that works at the hotel oh his his actual wife is the young woman yeah, we but go, in yeah, the yeah. show it's Sybil. Sybil are they not yeah. together anymore no I think they broke up in real life this I think is so yeah. actually breaking news but I think still Whoa. friends 
No, surely not. No, I think still friends. I don't think, <laughs> no, I don't don't think that works. That. But they, the, the show is them running a ramshackle hotel and he's like English and she's English and everyone's English and Except Andrew Sachs is English, but he's playing Spanish. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's yeah. playing Spanish? Andrew, Andrew Sachs. Sachs. Right. Yeah. Do you remember Sa Andrew Sachs? No. From the Russell Brand Brand and um, Jonathan Ross Scandal. Scandal. Oh my god, that guy who bullied that girl on the phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Yeah. The girl being Daisy Lowe? Question mark. No. no, no, no. The girl being his granddaughter, Andrew mm. Sachs' granddaughter. Holy! You can Google name this is? and find out more. I will find out. I don't yeah. know. But it does a very funny accent. It's good stuff. Is this the nineties yeah. or was that early two thousands? This what is this? The, the bullying the scandal. scandal that was early two thousands. Yeah. Wow. Like, it was not uh, the nineties. Georgina Bailey. Oh. Shout out to Georgina Bailey. Why are we, we whispering you? like that's the kind of the worst thing Russell Brown's ever done? But that's who Andrew <laughs> <laughs> You remember when he made that phone call? Is Dispatches out yet? Is it, yeah, is it yeah, out? Then, okay, then. do you reckon they'll do the next one soon? <laughs> <laughs> Beep the name. Beep. No, I'm not going to say it because it's, otherwise it's an edit point for you guys. Also, we'll be here for hours. We'll be here for hours. Um, <laughs> I think it's the most charming job of all time. I've actually never done an immersive dining experience. Mm. I've never done Mamma Mia or Folger Have Towers. Have you done the immersive Yeah, I did. That's what I did. I did that uh, before I started. Oh my God, she researches mm. the job. Yeah. That's amazing. And did you, who'd you take? Or did you go alone? I went alone. No, you didn't. Have you ever done an immersive dining experience alone? You didn't actually go alone. <laughs> not nice. Oh my God, no wonder they gave you the job. They were like, that girl's not okay. She had, are you joking? You went by yourself. Well, yeah. I was like, I Do you sit on group tables? Yeah, though? yeah. Oh, God. Don't you have family in the city? Well, yeah, but everyone was busy. so And I had to go because it was work. So mm. I just went alone. <laughs> in my head, you took a briefcase, but I don't know why. No, I didn't. I didn't. I, um, I just, I took a little rucksack, my rucksack. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it had, my, you know, I had a book in it. It had my purse in it. That was it. And wow. they act the scenes around you and you have a three course dinner. Yes, yes. So I had a three course dinner. Um, Soup? But I was on a group table. So there were other people on the table. I chatted to the people on the table. That's they wanted to know why I was there alone. <laughs> 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 that was the main thing. <laughs> they, were, they kept telling me I was very brave <laughs> for being there alone. Yikes. By the way, I think there's no greater insult after a comedy gig oh than when God. someone says, that was, yeah, you're so brave. No, I, have, I have a worse one. Helen, it happened after the Litchfield gig. A lady came up to me and she was like, keep going. <laughs> no! no! Yeah. Yeah. Why do they say yeah. that? You've Why done do they this say one as well, the church. What? The church. Yeah, I know the church. Yeah. It's really, the guy I'm, who runs it so lovely. I'm doing really it this lovely, week. Yeah. Next week, next week. So you're, you're going to thrive. It'll be, it'll be great. It'll <laughs> but be our night was like, it got really fun by the end. Yeah. But the, they were like, not up for it from the get go. Mm, they needed like, a lot of warming up. They needed a, a lot, lot of warming up. up and a lot of like comforting. Mm. I can't believe you got that. Yeah. In fact, your cousin was there as yeah, well. Yeah, she didn't hear. She didn't hear. So Thank God. Oh, like, hey, you want to get given like a note or a supportive comment in front of like a yeah. friend or family member? Yeah. I'm like, don't do it in front of them. Yeah. It's so humiliating. Yeah. I once was with my brother after a gig um, at a comedy festival in Ireland called Body and Soul and I'd just yeah, done comedy festival am I right it's just like they're all naked just well like no funny funny you should say soul. that it was not they were all fully clothed I'm the soul out of you with my body <laughs> they were, I can't stress enough how much this is in Ireland it's like you're, it's like you think I said you're no, I, no you no, guys have got fairies Ireland. and stuff you're if I may things. okay and um, we're called queer now the point is <laughs> yikes uh, I'm sorry that you had to see that sorry she's fine so I was at this festival with my brother and I, his friend and him came to see me do this set and as you know playing um the like sunday morning of a of a music festival as a comedian mm. is dog shit anyway but i go on stage i'm not getting anything out of them they're all only in this tent because they're sunburnt and irish and so oh they're like no. recover and hung over so they're recovering <laughs> or on come downs and i go to this guy oh my god are you smoking and he was like yeah and i was like what are you smoking and he was like grass and i was like what kind of grass anyway what kind of grass? And he was like, oh, and he, he, I was like, oh, wait, oh, okay. And like, what they watched me on stage, my brother watched me on stage basically be like, oh my God, that's a spliff. <laughs> and what he also watched was me having asked this man if he was smoking had in turn alerted security to the fact that he was smoking, <laughs> I was, which means he gets dragged out during my set because he's too high to get, he like won't leave. So he's dragged out. So I'm a grass. And then there's just this room, there's just this tent full of drug users, obviously, looking at me like you fucking weren't worm you rat and my brother just at the back being like oh my god and then uh, uh, when i'm done being the least cool woman who's ever been allowed at a festival oh, Catherine. i come off stage and i pop my hair up i'm like sweating so much i like pop my hair up just to like <laughs> relieve the and this woman walks by and goes 
she just just sat in there and I was like yeah and she's like you should leave your hair down <gasps> what <laughs> isn't that the meanest thing anyone that's ever- the most horrible thing ever because it's isn't not it? relevant right and it's that's just awful it's so mean you should leave your hair down my brother was just like yikes oh my god what the fuck I love it when you have your hair up yeah. also you know what that is no one's business yeah it's very gendered it's just like very wild gendered. to it's be like neck masseuse's business yeah. and no one else's I agree I even agree. then even then but then work be around. Like, is it alright if <laughs> yes, if you, yes not you, you should leave your hair down thank genuine, you for saying so um, genuine question for you girly whirlies yeah. does anyone else got <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're saying girly whirlies. For the girly, for the girly whirlies. <laughs> That's so funny because did you guys have curly whirlies? Yes. yes. Okay. No. Oh, okay. So um, curly whirly is a type of chocolate bar that's mainly Wait, she has to mainly gaps, right? So it's a long, it's like Ladder. a white um, wrapper with purple edges. No, I actually, um, I was never like a huge fan of chocolate as a kid. I like, always prefer dark chocolate. Wait, settle, Catherine. Settle, 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 okay. settle, settle. She's okay. <laughs> And tell her what you did like. Tell her what you did like. I liked sweet, the, sweet, 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 sweet. but I didn't. I like savory stuff. Okay, like egg. I was yeah. a huge fan of egg. Okay. I would always have egg. Like That's that okay. would be my go-to like treat. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, can I have an egg? Like a boiled? No, egg. not boiled. No, not, okay. <laughs> Like a raw egg? No. No. Poached. Poached. Usually that Poached. was a real treat. A child who had a. Okay, Catherine. Everyone, her body, her choice. Say my body, my choice. <laughs> Say it. My body, my choice. That's good. Catherine doesn't like people that don't like. I'm currently trying to decide if I, I want children and the idea that I could have a kid <laughs> who'd be like, no thanks, I don't really like chocolate, please may I have a poached egg, gives me <laughs> the kind of spooks that are like in my spine. Yeah, <laughs> no, I was like a creepy kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a poached egg is a wild choice for That's a child. That's such yeah. a, w- you, s- what? Yeah, well, well poached eggs, because um, they're harder to cook, so that was like a treat. Because you know you have to get them. Yeah. No, I understand. <laughs> that. that part wasn't really my difficulty. <laughs> so I used to tend to have like fried or or um, egg toast, which is where you dip the egg in. Nice, yeah. Egg, every kid egg, likes egg yeah. eggy bread. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So just to check, you'd you'd um, we got back to go, somewhere normal. Okay, <laughs> so you go to a you go to a birthday party. You're ten years old, yeah. and there's the treat table laid out because it's like not sit down for yeah. Or whatever. What. What do you want to see on the table if if eggs aren't an option? Well, just the savouries, like, like a ham little, sandwich. Well, um, I never liked meat. So. Okay, cheese sandwich. Yeah, well, well, those were quite dry. Do egg you sandwich. Them being dry? Well, I'd have the egg mayo, but egg mayo is actually my <laughs> least favorite type of egg. So that's the best type of egg. <laughs> no, it's not. It is. No, it isn't. It is. It's egg. more mayo than it is egg. You know. Did you have okay. mayo? Is egg? You fucking freak. No, but mayo yeah, is not the same. Mayo is the same. No, it, it is. is. It, it doesn't taste like egg. It. it tastes it's like. Egg with Girl, oil. It tastes Girly like- whirlies. Girly whirlies. <laughs> do not make me make make say whirlies again. I, that made me so <laughs> Girly whirlies. I also was about to do not make me pull this car over. <laughs> and sorry, did you have siblings? Yeah, yeah, I did add a younger brother. I have, I have a okay, younger brother. I have a younger brother. I have a younger brother. I was like, oh no. Uh, I've stumbled into this. Um, and <laughs> did he like chocolate? Oh yeah, he loved all of that okay, stuff. Great. He still has a massive sweet tooth. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. All that stuff, just the best stuff. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, so Curly Whirly was. <laughs> it a- must have been so tough at school, sorry, just like to like go on break and everyone's having like, Maltesers and stuff. No, and there we, with like egg. we were, uh, we were like bang on the healthy eating in school. You know when like Jamie Oliver did all of that stuff. So we weren't oh, allowed. So, so we young. had to have fruit. But we like, had to have fruit. Everyone at break. took in chocolate. Even no, way. you had to have fruit at break. It got like you had to. have They fruit actually at break. checked. Like the yeah, yeah, yeah. You were only allowed around. fruit. <laughs> 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 what we had a cross on so long ago. No, why, because... <laughs> why is it still in there? If you rewind the video, you'll see I, I drink it and then I have to chew a little bit because <laughs> a lot of the cross on had fallen down into it. Shout out to Toad Bakery for the the almond cross on. Thank you so much. <laughs> Shout but, out. Um, I'm so sorry. I just spat cross on myself. That's right. Catherine, if you'd like to continue. Are you please. having a nice time? Is this yeah. what you thought this would be? Yeah, no, this is exactly it. Okay. This is great. <laughs> okay. She's just, okay. It's a curly whirly <laughs> is a long, thin chocolate bar that's like flat. It's almost entirely caramel toffee. You know what? I think I've seen this on the thick of it. Very likely. And there's holes in the middle. Oh, Andrew's and got a picture for the you. reason the curly whirlies, there you go. <laughs> Yes, that was on the thick of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So the reason the girly whirlies would like the curly whirlies is because it's the kind of chocolate that 
um, Weight Watchers would tell mothers they should have if they popped it in the freezer and then they broke it into pieces and then like delayed that over the day. Uh, See, Matt was talking about this on um, on uh, off menu, and I was like, oh my god, every Irish mammy did this. But it's like the kind of chocolate where they're like, it's not, it's, it's like a, basically a third of the chocolate bar because it's mainly holes. But oh. um, okay, I'm only eating them from now onwards. <laughs> Everyone, please send in curly whirlies. <laughs> I that actually is what love I'm a curly whirly. But they're now. so bad for your teeth. They're the kind of ones where you're like, I may have lost a filling. Yeah, and may now caramel, need so. a second filling. Yeah, it's a Honestly, lot. I just think our generation, I've said it before, I'll say it again, we don't need to worry about teeth. They're what? all going to fall out anyway. No. And you can just what? what are you talking no. about? No. Oh. Have everything on your body, don't stress about teeth. No, I stress about my teeth can, the no, most. Just yeah, I ones. fundamentally just disagree. Get new what, like veneers? I think that, like, everyone gets to an age, from what I can gather, every old person I've ever met has always had to get teeth replaced. Yeah, that's why we should care about them now. So and they were born in the 40s. Yeah, what are you they talking didn't have about? toothbrushes. Yeah, yeah. Wait, when, were, when were toothbrushes invented? Uh, well, quite early, but people just had. She said for a while. 40s. They didn't have toothbrushes. No, yeah, I'm saying in the, right. they were born in the 40s. So like that's this is deranged. You can't spend thousands of pounds replacing your teeth instead of just brushing. Just to be clear, I've got lovely teeth. I don't have any fillings. Okay. Oh, me neither. When did you last go to the dentist? Um, actually, they did text me. I am due my checkup. When did no, you last go? You last go. year. No, six okay. months. Every six months. But yeah, I, I went agree. Last year, and that was last time I had a thorough cleaning as well. Oh, the hygienist. Yeah, oh, I okay. love. I always feeling. do both together. Okay. Yeah, you have to. Well, you did go to the hygienist first, and then go to the dentist, and then they're like, "Oh, your teeth are perfect. Yeah. You clean so well, do I? Yeah, <laughs> that is the scam. That's I, the scam if I'm you are not watching this on YouTube, I urge you to to go and then zoom in. On your face, as you said, <laughs> it's the best feeling. <laughs> I was like, there's my little eggy guy. Oh, poached egg in the dentist. A wonderful day. <laughs> what are eggs, you talking about? Eggs have got to be good for the teeth as well. Nice and soft Yeah, on that them. protein, yeah. yeah. Soft um, Andrew, soft. when was the toothbrush invented, please? Oh, three and a half thousand BC. Oh wow! Yeah, Three and off, that so. is insanely <laughs> long ago. Yeah. That's what dinosaurs. Use, what was their toothpaste like? Was it charcoal? Oh, it would be papyrus. These papyrus are fucking everything. Those yeah, Egyptians. I doubt it was papyrus. I think it was charcoal. Honestly, they made boats out of it, paper, everything. I doubt no, they never made boats out of papyrus. They made boats out of everything. Papyrus. Oh, papyrus. It, was the, it was the ancient Egyptians. Weirdly, they created toothpaste before the toothbrush. Oh, oh, they just used their finger. Classic. Tooth yeah, powder, nice. Tooth powder from rock salt, mint, pepper, and dried iris flowers. Oh, so like today's toothpaste. That actually sounds nice, yeah. yeah. What, well, pepper? Bad. Yeah. Yeah, I think this sounds nice. I'd be sneezing. And if you sneeze when you're brushing your teeth, have you ever done that? No. Fuck me, it's a nightmare. It's oh, a mad you're brushing yourself. your teeth, you sneeze, and it's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> like the whole crazy. mirror. You're cleaning and a mirror. And the <laughs> goes up the back of your nose. <laughs> it's to come it just out. sounds like hell. It sounds like, awful. <laughs> so then you've got like, it's actually, okay, the minty nostrils I don't mind as much, but it's mental. Yeah. Everything's so visceral with you, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything in the bathroom is visceral because of like how obvious it is on the mirror. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, oh. What else are you watching? Other than Faulty Towers, <laughs> I actually not watching that much Faulty Towers. What am I watching? What am I watching at the moment? Oh, Sex in the City. Oh my gosh, mm. I find it so funny when young people watch Sex in the City, like yeah. ironically. No, I'm not watching it ironically. Okay, I love it. Okay, great. It's Who are you? Amazing. Oh, Carrie. <laughs> Really? Yeah, because I'm like a toxic friend. So oh my God. really <laughs> no, interesting. Like not that toxic friend, but I do pick the wrong film. guys. You so. haven't seen any Sex and City? I've seen the films. Oh, the films. Are t the second film is, I think, Incredible. racist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it. Oh. <laughs> racist the same time. Um, the, the the second film is racist. racist and I said it first and I've always said that I've always said that I've always said it I've always said it is that the one where they go and to um, That's like, Dubai and they drop condoms the timing the was so unfortunate <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it was bad. Oh my god, I'm the worst person that's ever existed. It's okay, it's okay. They made the film. Which yes! Is, not which you. is the film where um one of them puts on five pounds and they're all horrified. Oh, that's the first film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As that's they the should film. be. <laughs> Curly Wellies, girlies, get to the shops, let's get buying. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the freezer, cut it up. That'll last you two weeks if you're that lucky. It's tragic. <laughs> yeah. Yikes, those are both terrible. But the um TV show is problematic in different ways. Oh yeah, it's. I mean, it's obviously like an incredibly problematic show, but, but the clothes, the clothes are amazing, and oh the, some God, of the, the lessons clothes. are really great. Like, yeah, what what have you learned? I've learned that. Um, what was the main thing I learned recently? Oh yeah, that um, 9-11 was bad. I deserve, no, they actually don't mention it. Oh, they'll get there. They have they have an episode where they like is like a tribute to New York, but they actually filmed that five months before nine eleven. 
and then they released it after and then they just said it was a tribute to which I think is Whoa, that's not fucked right. up. Man. Yeah, it's actually not right. Unless they knew all along. Oh wait, wait inside job. Whoa. Wait, what is Sex and the City is literally is about the four women like sorry, going out and Helen, we're in the just city. Yeah, solving nine eleven right now. Could you sorry, focus? Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Wait, we're solving it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Uh, that feels mad. No, wait, let's go back. We're just talking okay, about no, 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 no. being no, no, respectful world, about world, world events. Events. I said first and I've always said. Large world, world events. That's what we're discussing. <laughs> Um, I will watch Sex and City at some point. Mm. It's just that I know at some point I might get divorced and I think I'll need it then. No, no, no. You need it now. You need it before you're divorced. Really? I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need it when you're single. Yeah. I'm re-watching Below Deck. <laughs> moment. Sorry. I've never seen it. But I have heard a lot it's about enchanting. it. Are you not yeah. depressed? Um, I was. Oh, I'm not save, it. <laughs> save it for when you're next depressed. You'll need it most then. <laughs> I have my go-to is Doctor Who when I'm depressed. Whoa. Yeah. Egg girl. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> she creeps out oh. when you least expect her. There well, she is. Can you see who that is in that picture? Yes, there? it's Paul McGann. It's Paul McGann. Well, I did. I it's signed. Person. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, did you meet him? No, one of no, our one host of our is. listeners oh. met him and I talk about his podcast on stage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've told you yeah. about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, it's astonishing. Um, We are going to ask for your help with a listener okay. problem. Because we're just assuming no one's got any interest in Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I, I didn't want to talk about it. I've there's never, like, oh, there's like 10 podcasts about Doctor Who. I've okay. never seen an Darlings. episode about it. I've um, never seen an episode about the it. The Weeping seen it. Angels. Wow, this that, is your hitting the, that, hit the uh, big that's points. The angel, that's good. the episode I know the best. Yeah. I yeah. used to have a subscription to the Doctor Who magazine. Oh, me too. Nice. Yeah. 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 Me and Catherine can be... Shuji Gatwa. We'll, we'll, we'll sit back. We'll sit back. Talk about the magazine for a minute, if you guys want. I just thought it was like a very well produced magazine. It was, it was, yeah. it was good value because I, yeah. I also dipped into a few other magazines, not on this. Sorry, I actually <laughs> died of boredom. <laughs> what are you talking about? No. They had some great interviews, yeah, like, really good behind the, the scenes. Quality interviews. and price of the magazine, yeah, yeah. But it was well worth it. What I we've think. taken there is, is the arguably niche and boring topic of Doctor Who and talked about <laughs> the editorial choices, yeah. of the Doctor Who magazine, which is even more niche and boring. It was, it was a very wow. stylish magazine, lovely paper GSM. Really, oh my god, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I always thought that. I've got a question. Um, was it one of the magazines where you collect like a little something as no, a gift no, no, each no, no. week? That was, and then you that build was for something? kids. No. This was for the real fans. Mm -hmm. This was for the people who like really cared. You really tried to get made. involved and they were like, <laughs> yes, Kevin, they were really slapped down. Like, you get a piece of the doll <laughs> no, 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 each no, no, week no. and then you build it. No, no. No, I did also have like the kid one as well. I've got a Doctor Who question. Okay. What's all this nonsense about Daleks climbing stairs? Oh, they just fly. Yeah. They can fly. They got boosters in enough. That was like old. That was from, that, that was like fine, yeah. yeah. What's all this nonsense? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is a, what's all this nonsense? That right? was very like. <laughs> I'm not a normal mom. I'm a cool mom. There is a, famous, a, bit about uh, a very famous Doctor Who magazine interview with um, the guy who oh well, I can't remember his name. He's in the um, the Titanic episode. Chris uh, oh Eccleston. yeah 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 where he just like slabs yeah. Doctor Who and he's like oh what well, yeah he, he's uh, like he's like oh I'm recording the the interview and this actor's like. Well, don't you know shorthand? What's yeah. Wrong with you? How can you call yourself a reporter? It's like he works for the Doctor Who magazine. I know. He's not like a trained journalist. <laughs> yeah. and, and they printed it in full. This guy, this actor, just like slamming this um, Doctor Who reporter. <gasps> yeah, it's so rude. Yeah, he was so it's rude. Really good. So, so there's rude. a Titanic episode of Doctor Who. Yeah, it, it is. It's a space Titanic. Space and Titanic. Kylie Minogue's in it. Yeah, that's a really good episode. Kylie Minogue. Wait, wait, wait. David Tennant looks so handsome in that episode. Mm. Okay, I actually want to watch this. Yeah. Why are you pointing at me? Do it alone. Because we could actually <laughs> get into this. This could be our thing. I don't think we could. No, we need like a couple's like watch something we're not a couple we're, we're like <laughs> sort of like effectively not really well, why do you keep calling me ellen then they're very similar names they're very different with the and H. i'm always angry with both of you <laughs> ellen, 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 oh! ellen. I, only, I only ever call her helen when she's in trouble <laughs> <laughs> helen i mean helen, helen. <laughs> i found the, found the interview with the guy called clive swift I just, i'll read you the end of the interview love the name oh, clive this is, so yeah, yeah, yeah. this is how the interview ends right one final question I think that's more than enough, isn't it? <laughs> How many pages are you going to have on Mr. Cooper? That was the name of the character. Yeah. <laughs> he was well, a nice guy. <laughs> the character. Yeah, the character yeah, was really lovely. Yeah, he was really lovely, yeah. Well, I was just going to ask, there's no reason why I should talk to you at all, so you shouldn't push it. I'm sure you'll write something very nice. Stony silence. I know that you think this is a big world, this who business, but it isn't. There are much bigger things than this. <gasps> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> what was going on with Clive at home? Oh, yeah, he was just he had, had a bad, bad day. day. <laughs> He was having a terrible day. I'd actually like more of that. I can't believe I'm saying this, but can we get some more of that interview? Because that's mm. fascinating. This was, yeah. this was a huge delicious. deal. I think out, we're yeah. Whovians. 
<laughs> this We're is not, but I love gossip <laughs> on any score. Go on. Imagine saying this out loud. Whoa. Yeah, I know. To, and like thinking it won't get printed. Thinking <gasps> you'll get away with I it. I have a story to tell you about a interview I did this week. Oh, okay. I'll post this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is a question. Right. Could you tell me a bit about your character in The Voyage of the Damned? Is the name of the episode. You don't need to tell great, me. Great, you don't need great. me to tell you that. Have you read the script? That's what I perform. <laughs> you can tell them about my character. What a silly question. What? It's <laughs> not even ah, a silly ah, question ah, though. It's ah, such a bait. Like it's a normal question. Yeah. That's like a go-to question. That's wild. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm about to tell you about the worst interview I've had. Second worst interview I've ever had in comedy yeah. by a journalist. Let's do it. Um, in the extras, it has to be in the extras. So go to the extras if you're a patron. You can hear it. It is. El scandalo. And then we'll come back for a problem with Pravania. Yeah. Cut. Okay, Um, okay, so we're back in the main episode now. Do you think it's worth people going to the extras for that um, story? Yeah, definitely. Okay. It's it's, horrifying. Yeah, it's really bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's all you have to look forward to when you debut. You get all these (laughs) interviews. How exciting that'll be. Um, But I had a question as a good interviewer. Eggs from best to worst. I want to be like including omelette, including Benny, like the whole thing. Okay. Or Florentine. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. Or deviled. So number one is eggy bread. That's my favorite. Yum. Then poached. Slime. Yeah. Yeah. Then fried. Yum. Then scrambled. Although scr- scrambled and fried are kind of equal to me. It really depends on mood, doesn't it? Oh, can I not? No, you can't have. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll tell Catherine. You what. I must okay, I think I'll scrambled underneath fried because fried is more of an accomplishment. I understand. Yes. Um, like sometimes I'll crack it, and if the eggs, the yolk breaks, then I'm like, well, I guess I'm having scrambled. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. The oh, wait, you change on the you. fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because well, I'm not gonna have a broken yolk fried egg. I've never like think to, I never person. think to make that decision so fast. I'd be like, yeah. oh no, we adapt to survive. Quick. We adapt to quick. survive. When you, when you love egg, <laughs> whoa, you're a genius. <laughs> you're like, whoa. Have you ever been making scrambled, forgotten about it, so it's an omelet? Um, no, I no, me neither. no, 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 because <laughs> so it bad. cooks so quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it literally takes like two minutes. I know, to but you know when you're like buttering the toast and you get distracted by the toast buttering and you're like, oh my god, like blah blah blah, and then like then it's like, oh, I guess it's an omelet. No, that's never. No, happened. never me yeah. either. Me omelet either. is my one of my least favorites. Well, least favorite is egg mayo, then yeah. omelet. Because I just think the yeah. omelet is like we're throwing stuff in that doesn't need to be there. Let the yeah. egg talk for itself. Yeah, okay. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Sorry to jump in here just for, for some engagement because people really loved uh, their favourite chocolate bar. Um, please comment down below your <laughs> egg ranking. What are your favourite eggs? Make sure you comment. Drive the engagement. Get the views up. Thank you very I much. I completely Cheers. agree. But wait, where are you putting deviled? Deviled. That oh, I do love that because it's so 70s. You know it what is I mean? very like, fun. I just feel like, yeah. Um, probably above omelette. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, below all the classics. Yeah. I think like Egg Benedict, Florentine, all of that yeah. comes underneath Scrambled. Okay. Um, I do really enjoy it, but it is very rich. It's yeah. rich. You know, you okay. have that, you know. Oh, Shaq Shuka's. Does Shaq Shuka count? <gasps> yes. Yeah. I, I love actually think Shaka. let's put, like, I made a mistake. Shaq Shuka needs to be like up okay. I really agree. Like above yeah. poached question mark? Yeah, egg, Eggy Bread's the best, I think, then Shaq Shuka, then poached. I love Shaq Shuka. That's a really yeah. good shout out. How about yeah. cream? Cream? Cream egg. Whoa, like Cadbury's cream egg. Yeah. Am I allowed to say brand names? Oh, yeah. yeah. We have we said <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, somebody works on the BBC for me. Oh, wait, am I allowed to say brand names? <laughs> Are you allowed to say brand names? Wow. Well, the whole podcast has been an advert of Tony since day one. What are you doing? <laughs> That was the sweetest question. That's a woman who does the Now Show a lot. It's like, um, am I allowed to say... Can we say Cadbury's? <laughs> You can say cunt and cream egg all you want <laughs> on this show. Go ahead. Cream egg. I uh, hate cream eggs. I feeling. They're, they're just cho- there's chocolate. Can I ask about mini? Oh, That's I do like mini eggs, It's actually. a wild to be like, I hate cream eggs. They're just chocolate. <laughs> yum. Yum and yum. Mini eggs are good though. Yeah, I like mini eggs. Good. Yeah, mini yeah, eggs. Yeah. Have you had the orange mini eggs? Yeah. Delicious. We, oh, oh my God, my sunglasses. I rested on the pig just fell. Um, <laughs> didn't we all get given a pack of orange mini eggs? Yeah. Is that how we all by, had them? Um, yeah. Who get, oh, by Anthony. Anthony. Oh my God. Yes, but I... Um, they were delicious. He's given me two packs now. The first pack was eaten by my sister without permission. Whoa. Um, but I had the second pack and they are very lovely. Really delicious. Try, check them out. I know you don't like chocolate, but it's kind of fruit. I don't know. I like mini eggs. I think they're, I think they're okay. nice. I'm trying yeah. to think of any more eggs that we can give you. Because we've already done the very Oh, Kinder egg. eggs. You know what? I really like Kinder, Kinder eggs. Eggs. I know, uh, yeah. <sighs> so I always, I like that it's um, a real experience. Yeah, yeah. Of course, you um, do. it's immersive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic yeah. you. I like yeah. the one that's <laughs> <It's> half. <laughs> that's me. 
That's regular making... Kinder Egg, half with a little spoon, and you get out the sort of like praline oh, taste. Oh, those, yeah. Those oh, are that's insane. But does that like, Kinder doing some great stuff with chocolate, yeah. I would say. Easter egg in general? Easter, where does it um, I don't like Easter eggs. Okay. They're oh, too, too much. much chocolate, yeah. is it? Okay. Yeah. I, don't, I don't really <laughs> like chocolate. I like dark chocolate. You've said. But 80% and above. Do you usually, like so boiled egg and soldiers? I like dark chocolate yeah, too, but... Yeah, boiled egg and soldiers, yeah. yeah oh my God, soldiers. boiled eggs and soldiers, soldiers. so yeah, delicious. Really good, yum. really good stuff, that. Yum, yum, yeah. yum. Any more eggs from the people at the back? Andrew, M? I have to say mine goes, okay, if anyone's okay. asking. Yeah, yeah. I would say boiled egg and soldiers. Top. Top. Yeah. I love a boiled egg. It's I a real treat. So much. It's an experience. Once yeah, did you have boiled in your mix? Um, I forgot about it. Okay. That's the problem with boiled. I feel like forgettable. Oh, I have it like the most of all the egg types. I'd have boiled egg. And it's hard to get right as well. I don't find that. Oh. But I can. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, it's such a normal thing to say. So cutting. I don't find that. Literally, like my eyes are actually difficult. broken right now. Yeah. No, that's actually not a difficult thing. I'm really sorry. No, I just don't find it that hard to cook an egg. Um, but Doesn't I. Doesn't mean it. <laughs> Doesn't mean it. She's I'm laughing sorry. out. Okay, it's all right. It's fine. I just mean to start beef with you. No, no. Can I ask um, a question about boiled egg? Yeah. Have you ever boiled it in the air fryer? No. Oh have, what! And it's incredible. No, no way. way! I saw someone do it on Instagram, and I was making <laughs> my bull duck noodles, and I was like, I want a boiled egg on top of my noodles. Um, you put it in the air fryer for like seven minutes on like 180 degrees or something like that. Definitely double check that. In water? Explain. No, no, no. Just in the air fryer. So when you say you boiled it in the air fryer, you mean you cooked it? I, I. Yes, I air you fried bake it. Yeah, yeah. I air fried egg. I air That's fried a whole my new egg. type of egg. That's a whole new type of egg. It's a whole new. It's a whole it's new type of egg. Whole... Stop screaming at me. Oh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, so scotch. How do we forget about that? Oh, oh. scotch. Yeah, scotch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scotch. Oh, I don't eat um, meat, but the veggie scotch. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The great. cheese and onion, sort of like around. Uh, the corn no, one. there's a yeah. corn one. The oh, there's a corn one. Yeah, oh, yeah. I can have quite nice. the whole pack. I it's actually quite pack. nice. Yeah. I once right. poisoned myself and eggs, actually, so this conversation is starting to get triggered. <laughs> what? Oh. This is so far into the conversation. This whole podcast has been about egg. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually already done an egg episode as well. Do you remember Sean McLaughlin And it was just omelette. That was mainly omelette. I was going to say, this is... They could be nice sister podcasts. If you, you can listen to them together, that's a nice episode of yeah, combination. Yeah, then I imagine we have different views on omelets. Yeah, no, you definitely, definitely yeah, do. That guy's having though. way too many omelets. Um, but I would say... Do you want to hear something really like? One time, may I finish? <laughs> <laughs> it's going boiled. Mm. Shakshuka second. Nice. Yeah. Third. It's tricky. Because I love... An egg on pizza, but that doesn't really count. Oh, the Fiorentina. That's I the pizza I have. Oh yeah. my God, I had it last night. It was so good. It's really good, yeah. Come on. But probably because of that, it is the, um, what is the Benedict with the spinach? Florentine. Oh, Florentine yeah. Florentine, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's nice one, I yeah. love that too. So I guess that is poached ultimately. Oh, but I also, have you fried them in feta and chili oil? Oh, wow. That sounds great. Fuck. No. New it's eggs. Sick. Two new eggs for me to try. <laughs> it's sick. This is great. Put some scallions over the, oh my God, it's so delicious. Yum. That sounds it's really, really good. Yeah. Fry it in feta. So what you do is you put right. um, chili oil in your pan. Yeah. Heat it up till it's boiling. Yeah. Then you put a circle of feta. Wow. Circle. Crack the egg into the center. You get a cheesy edge. And then I just put um like either chili oil or I'll put some or like spices or what you call it, paprika, or um just spring onions on top and it's delicious. Man, that does sound really good. Really it's really so good, good. Catherine. Yeah. It and was I don't also like feta, but I want that. Yeah, Again, it, well you can do it with parmesan. Really Ooh. good with parmesan, but put that on towards the end because that really will crisp up so fast. That sounds really good. Like parmesan crispy egg. Mm. That sounds amazing. It's sick. Mm. Wow. Damn, I'm good at cooking eggs. Damn, Catherine. You yeah. are with the boiled egg am. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. From earlier. God damn. I'm actually a little bit hungry. Not wet, but like. <laughs> <laughs> hungry. Like, we don't, like, we don't need to get a tea right? time. <laughs> Everyone says, fun, Everyone says hungry. Everyone says hungry. That scenario, you're hungry. Why? Why not just be hungry? <laughs> hungry. I get confused between hungry and horny. Sometimes. I really see it's that. It's all down there. Yeah. It's all down Whoa, there. Whoa! How low the is feelings, your stomach? The feelings. <laughs> the feelings are like they're so physically close to each other that I get. I get lost. I see that. 
Okay, so wait. So before we get into the problem, you earlier identified as a toxic friend. No, I was only kidding. I'm, okay. I think I'm actually a very good friend. Oh, that's yeah. nice. But I that's always what the toxic friend says. <laughs> <laughs> and what kind of advice do you think you give? Um, I like to think that I listen and then I, I, don't, I hate to like, I actually hate to give advice because what if I'm wrong? And then they take the advice and then years later they're like, you told me that. So I try and like help them come to a solution themselves. Oh, so there's no blame Whoa. on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so thoughtful, I guess. But then sometimes in si- certain situations, you have to just be like, no, like that's not a good idea. Like yeah. if it's like if it's really dire, then it's like it's okay, very yeah. Mother Willow of you from Pocahontas. Do you think? Like just sort of like she's not going to tell Pocahontas not to marry mm. Kukwam, but she is going to be like, listen to your. Heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That like, is that's the vibe. Listen to your. Heart. Well, I try unless it's unless they're like in a really bad situation and then I'm just like okay well I always do say even when I give advice I'm always like well this is what I would do yeah but like no pressure you don't have to do it yeah and they're like it's no time for an egg <laughs> why would you say that to me now <laughs> Ronnie just making eggs <laughs> it's okay well if it's okay it's okay. everything's gonna be fine we'll just speed run this no, put them in a well make an egg join a sports team no, you, <laughs> you wouldn't make an egg in a, at a bad moment though because you wouldn't want the egg to be associated with the negative emotion would you? Eggs for eggs are for happy time. You've really taken this. Um, <laughs> wow. Well. Eggs are for happy time. <laughs> eggs are for eggs happy, are time. happy time. You should be the advertisements for British eggs. That I would phenomenal. love that. Oh my god, to be the you face could of be British the lion eggs. stamp. <laughs> I would love that. This that is multicultural Britain. I would absolutely <laughs> love that. I would. That would be so great. I would. I would be so happy. <laughs> Who is the face of is egg it, at the moment? Is there, is there one? Is this? Is, can, is there someone I can talk directly to? That would be amazing. <laughs> Surely the chickens. You'd have to go straight to the community. <laughs> I guess, no. yeah. They get their get blessing. To, presumably they get to choose. I think they're the face of it right now. <sighs> when I they think are, of yeah, eggs, they're no. 100%. Because they're on most of the cartons, aren't they? No, I want to be on lion. every egg cart. I want, my face to, I want my face to be on the Burford Brown cart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my. On Wait, the Burford Brown. Yes, 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 the Burford Browns. Yes, the Burford Browns. Well, I know that's... I'll, I'll go for, like, the lower one first. And then no, I'll you no, want no, no, Prince no, no, that's Charles... Nice. No, not Prince Charles. Oh, you I'm okay? Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Catherine, don't tell. <laughs> yeah, I won't mention our call later. <laughs> King, King Charles's chicken's eggs. Oh, dear. <laughs> that oh, was no. horrible. That oh, gave me no. the spooks. I got nervous just then. Andrew, just give us the problem before she gets any more ro- um, royally. But What's the word I'm looking for? Royal. Regal. No, that's not. I'm a naturally not. regal. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Let's have a problem. Yeah. Um, by the way, this this is an article that says Kevin Bacon is now the official spokesperson for eggs. What? So what? Oh, no. That's crazy. Bacon. What about what about the EE? What? They can't, you can't do both. <laughs> that is a good point. Well, actually, like, yeah, surnames yeah. Bacon eggs and Bacon. It's kind of like yeah, they're different. Okay, wow. Mm. His name's not Kevin Egg. <laughs> So that's a great name. Would you <laughs> <laughs> my Your name son was, will be. <laughs> my name was Kevin. Um, do we know how long his contract is? Does Provania have a chance to get in there? Um, I think this was an article okay. from a while ago. So yeah, it might have run out. You might, yeah. You wow. might have a chance. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. Okay. Okay. Mr. Footloose. Oh my God. <laughs> Go on. So this is a problem from M. Hi, Hi M. M. Hi, yeah, M. Okay, she was on it. Yeah. It's good. M says, hey, Hoggos. Um, huge <laughs> and very proud fan of the show. I quite like Hoggos. Me too. Yeah, that's <laughs> fun. Yeah. Uh, I find myself in a bit of a challenging situation that's been ongoing for almost two years now. Here we bloody go. I actually love this so much. <laughs> Unfortunately, I got injured at work due to some su- uh, supervisor negligence. You love that so much. No, I thought it was going to be about You love that boy. So <laughs> I, mean, I, I really thought it was going to be. This I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I was really. <laughs> Yikes! This is the lesson we've learned over 124 episodes: is to wait. Wait, <laughs> it, could, it, could, it could be a funny injury. It could be a funny injury. Or a romance. I want a romance. I work in a banana factory and I slipped on some peanuts. No, it's <laughs> not a romance. <laughs> No. Like, there's no such thing as a banana factory. <laughs> yeah. It's a field, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I work in an apple factory. It's an orchard. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Uh, ever says, unfortunately, I got injured at work due to some supervisor negligence, and it's been a roller coaster ever since. Oh, no. Mm. Currently, I'm stuck in a less than ideal temporary position as I recover from surgery and deal with the aftermath of the incident. No. While I'm not thrilled with my current role, it seems like it might be the only option available within the company. On top of that, I'm tangled up in a legal battle with the said company for back pay and facing the possibility that my injury might be considered a permanent disability. (gasps) It's a lot to handle, but don't worry. 
I've got a therapist, a supportive doctor, and the backing of my state's workers' advocate program as I navigate these rough waters. Slay. Once, Love that. Yeah, it's really yeah, fabulous. She's a Catherine. Yeah. That was honestly gorgeous to hear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming a she. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 I, well, that organisation level. Yeah, yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I won't assume pronouns, um, to be fair. We won't assume pronouns, actually. I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm doing really well today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Catherine's laughing. <laughs> just must be so exhausting to be you. <laughs> I actually won't. I actually won't. I actually won't assume pronouns. And didn't. And wouldn't. After I just and said I'd never. shut up. <laughs> just said. No, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Straight back in. M please, M please, M please. Let's hear your story. M finishes. Once this chapter is behind me, I'll be able to move forward. However, until then, I'm seeking advice on how to keep my spirits high and stay optimistic about the future. While I'd love to be a client of the firm Bohart and White Solicitors, (laughs) I'm I'm open to any guidance or encouragement you might have. Thanks in advance for your support. Oinks and love, M. Oh Oh my God. I First hope all, you are feeling better already. What a charming already. email. It's yeah, charming. really lovely, yeah. To be also like really positive. Really yeah, positive. To be yeah. like, this awful thing has happened. Don't worry, I've got it covered and I'm advocating for myself and I'm taking care of myself and yeah. I'm just here saying it's obviously difficult, which is totally understandable because it is. Mm-hmm. How do I keep my spirits high? Well, Jigsaw I think, puzzle. Oh, no, God. What were you yeah. going to say? I was just going to say, no. I think we can all just say eggs and then get to the real advice. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, e- eggs. Raise chickens. <laughs> <gasps> Raising chickens would be nice. Yeah, just get chicken. I don't know that M needs That's more. A lot of work, I was gonna though. say I don't yeah. know that M needs more dependents. Yeah. And if they don't oh. have an outdoor space, it's a lot to have a chicken yeah. in your house. I think. And you, yeah, you need more than one because everybody get lonely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, I'm thinking about so, sad. How about jigsaw puzzles? Why? Because I think they're just like. Oh, no a, one's ever asked you that before. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Because they're they're a wonderful activity that exercise different parts of your brain. And that keeps you alert, and it's really fun, and you get a sense of accomplishment at the end of it, and you get to make pretty pictures like Minnie and Mickey Mouse inside of a cottage. Oh. Ravensburger, soft click technology, Thomas Kincaid. Well, you really can say brand names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Brand names fully allowed. Fully allowed. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, good friends, good family, good chat. Mm. Good friends, good family, good chat. I think um, I. This is such a basic bitch answer, but whenever I've like got an injury, mm-hmm. which I find so difficult because I hate not being able to like work out in the same ways mm. or um, take like if I have to be in any way dependent on other people, it makes me f- feel very unlike myself, as I'm sure just for most people. Um, but also, I think relish the things that you couldn't do or you wouldn't allow yourself to do if you didn't have to rest a bit more. Mm. By which I mean, oh, that's cool. yeah, that's like really I, nice. this sounds silly, but I um hurt my leg really badly at the start of the year. Mm-hmm. And it's the first time in ages I'd done like a hair mask. I'd done my own nails. I'd done a face mask. I'd, yeah. I know it's, like small but like if you if you wouldn't genuinely do it if you if you didn't have to sit down a bit more or whatever it might be for you then I think luxuriate in those things like I got quite good at nail art <laughs> um <laughs> three weeks of rest but I got quite good at nail art yeah. I just think just like don't rest you're not resting Catherine well, you're I'm, learning a new well, skill I'm, yeah well I might need it sometimes yeah, <laughs> a new yeah. profession yeah listen I have a new Instagram account don't worry about it um no no I don't it's like <laughs> Catherine's <laughs> nails <laughs> um but I just think yeah I think that kind of um thing I'm trying to think as well it's like I know this is so Get like sex toys in or something. Ooh, you could get some sex toys. Definitely. You could also. I was gonna My say fresh air, but that to works too. <laughs> That's another type of egg. What? Oh, egg. Yonic! <laughs> Yonic! Yeah, yoni egg. Is that what it's called? A yoni. Adorable. That would be cute. And my friend was taught herself to squirt when she had some free time. So like, <laughs> you can do a lot of things in that time. Whoa. There's yeah. this. Um. There's an app. I can't imagine wanting more cleanup. Sorry, that's crazy to me. It's like Wordle, but for the tube. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that. That. What do you mean? It's like Wordle, but for the tube. So it's like you a word get. App. So you get like a an like kind of a tube stencil, and then and for a stop, and then you have to guess the stop. <gasps> you have like six guesses to guess it. It's called Metrodol. 
metrodol. Yeah, and it's amazing. That's and amazing. I do it every morning, and it's like it's very fun. Sometimes I can't wait until the morning, so I wait until midnight, and then I do it then. That's amazing, <laughs> and that also reminds me of so. Um, the New York Times has a game subscription. Oh, is it Connections? Oh my oh, god, I love it's it. so I love good. It. It's great. It's, it's really so good. good. It's so good. Okay, so they have a game subscription, and it's like twelve dollars, and you, be- you can play Wordle, but you can also play Connections, which is where you get a you get. 16 words in yeah. boxes yeah. and they are four categories of things and you have to put them together so you have to find which four go together but often there'll be little tricks in there yeah. you think you got it but yeah. you ain't got it oh my god and you get you can't make four mistakes Wild. and it's honestly Ellen and I do it together every night well you and do it as a that's not fair I have to do mine by myself but we're um, lovable Ugh. no I'm just <laughs> you shouldn't have taken that from me that's I good. thought you'd push back but you were like Oh, that's I'll so weird. It. I'll do it with you. No, I'll do the game with you. It's so fine, fine, fine. Oh, you should have been. I'll come to yours. Okay, all right. I feel like I stand on a mouse. I, why did I do that? I, you, I, no one's ever been like, oh, um. I did oh. the New Yorker crossword the other day. And oh wow! Didn't Google a single thing. So Neil Googled five things for me, but I didn't. Google <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't Google. Anything. But may I say that um, I actually think that it's way cooler. I kind of wish I could do connections alone, but she has the um, <laughs> subscription, and also um, we've. You know, into- I just I just do it. I don't know. I don't have. I don't but have do you, a we also play? Um, do you play spelling bee? No, it's it's been offered to me, but I'm not really spelling interested in spelling. Spelling B is phenomenal, Em. I really also, strongly recommend it. just in case it. M is of a different educational bracket. And I, t- I play Tetris bracket. too. Um, Pokemon Go is still very much available <laughs> and the community <laughs> is thriving. I'm on that 247. Um, so definitely join Pokemon Go. Mm. My other favourite game I play is called Two Dots. Um, no oh, words, no I think reading. I, I really like that dot Thank game. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, how many <laughs> fucking games are you playing? <laughs> and you I match really up, you match up. up dots. <laughs> you match up dots with different with the same colour. It's a matching game. Yeah, and, but you can't cross the Look line. Look what level I am, though. Like, Look see. what level... You're going to freak the fuck yeah, out. 5,284. Really I find this game the hardest out of all of the games. Really? Yeah. yeah. yeah there's something about You've it. You've got to be really good with colours. I think it's spatial awareness. It's not colours. They it's have up to like five colours on it. Like, But how good are you with colours? Blue, um, pink. I could just do that immediately. I I White, I black. Sometimes I struggle with colours. Pink, gr- green, green. All right, okay. Yeah. That's a pink, pink that's a pink, 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 pink. Yeah. But F- any colour you show me, I could tell you what colour it is. M, what about green. This? What about this? M, may I also suggest, if you can, and if you have any outdoor space or even indoor space, it's spring. This is a gorgeous time to get into your garden. Write a book. To garden. <laughs> Learn a language. Garden. No, <laughs> no, stuff that lifts your spirits. <laughs> Writing a book so hard. Learning Write a language. book. Learn a language. No. Write it in the second language. I, <laughs> <laughs> I just think you could get into gardening if you had a garden. My bulbs are coming up. It's too early, but I'm still excited. I put it them down in November early, and they're all coming. Woo! That's, that's really early. Make your own manure. <laughs> <laughs> The things you can do you in can nature. You can a bug. <laughs> I just think... Um, Make a treehouse. Uh, cook. cook every- build a ship. <laughs> you could bake. I love to bake. It cheers me up. You could make all the kinds of eggs we suggested. Mm. That would be a really fun I'd day. I'd actually yeah, love that yeah, so yeah, much. Yeah. Do a... Get, get an egg cart. You'd do it all in one day. I wouldn't do it all in one no, day. No, maybe not one That's day. That's so many eggs. That'd be a crazy day. Yeah. That's a lot of eggs. Okay. How many eggs have, have you had in one day? Like the most eggs you've had in one day? I've definitely done six, I'd say. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I probably six is... Ooh. That's tricky. Do, what, what, like, if there's an egg and a cake, we're not counting. No, 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 it doesn't count. Doesn't count. Okay, so oh, like, you're talking whole egg. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, I'm not Probably six. like four then. Yeah, I've, I'm on four. I'm I on think four. four is probably the top. Every yeah. day. Because everyone would always, because I love eggs so much, everyone would always try and like scare me off it and be like, oh, cholesterol. So I've always been like worried. But also, I think that's a myth. I don't you think, think cholesterol is a myth. No, cholesterol's real. But oh. It's not caused by eggs. And I think that salt is good for you. Loads of salt. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Some real hot takes at the end there <laughs> from you. Such a quiet, <laughs> lovely energy. And then you're like, finally, <laughs> cholesterol's not real. Salt's good for you. No, eggs are fine. Cholesterol's real, but it's not caused by eggs. And salt's fine. And salt is like, you need salt. Everyone loves salt. Wait, what's cholesterol ca- caused by? I don't know. What is cholesterol? <laughs> No. Did you say that doesn't feel right? That, <laughs> that doesn't feel right. I think sugar is the problem. <laughs> and big sugar is trying to make you think that salt is the problem. Didn't you have sugar in your coffee? Yeah. Well, yeah, because I, yeah, I like the taste of sugar <laughs> in my coffee. <laughs> but isn't, isn't it supposed to be everything in moderation, including moderation itself? 
Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that the rule? Very good. <laughs> Good I'm, lord! I'm going to show you my favourite ever a uh, charity shop find. As you know, I get lots of clothes. Sue Ryder, okay. here we go. Yes. Uh, this is actually one. It's Sue Ryder. Sue Ryder. He it's loves Sue Ryder. Sixteen yeah. eggs boiler. Whoa! Six, that's a that's one, for a party. That really is. I'll show Did you, you buy that? Uh, no, I didn't. It was it was like twenty quid. That's so expensive. But who <laughs> needs to boil sixteen eggs at once? Oh, I know somebody who Cater. does that. Oh right, yeah. yeah. If somebody works in the kitchen, or Charlie <laughs> Clive, who I live with, who devils eggs for every party. I got her a deviled egg, a, a soft toy deviled egg for her birthday because she devils eggs so often. I've had a deviled egg at yours before. Yeah, she loves to devil eggs, man. Wow. But she just <laughs> she just puts them all in the pot at the same time. Yeah. So you don't even need that. Yeah. Wow, it's been really <laughs> excellent having you. <laughs> oh. yeah. That was great. That was really good. Yeah. That was so much. Thank you so much. Um, have you had a nice time? Yeah, I've had a lovely time. On a scale of one to eating an egg alone quietly, privately. <laughs> the egg alone, eating the egg oh alone. Oh my God, wow, that's nice. Really okay, that's nice. That's, that's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. That's really beautiful. Do you wow, have anything that's good you stuff. want to plug and tell us about before you go? Um, No. <laughs> No, we're going to do that again. socials? Come on, we're going to do that again. We're going to do that again. Why? Why oh are my people God. so bad at that? <laughs> right, we're going to try, gonna try it again. British people are the worst. Okay, and leave go. that in. Leave that in. It's real. It's part of the moment. Yeah, come on. Because she doesn't come get, on. you know, they have you to You promoted sing. British eggs more than yourself. Can you just please? Come on, focus now. Just as, as women in comedy and you're a newer woman in comedy. Please, please. Very funny. Come on, you have to tell people. Don't leave with egg on your face. Let's have your... Otherwise, they're all going to buy tickets for all those really boring guys. And it's not fair. It's not that hard. They deserve better than that. Okay. Kravanya, anything to plug? Yes, my socials. Um, Amazing. On Instagram, I am Pravanya Pile sixty nine. So get your heads out of the gutter. Yeah. You were born in nineteen sixty nine. Bloody hell! Sick of saying it. <laughs> <laughs> what about TikTok? Um, X? Any of those? I think it's just the same. Pravanya Pile sixty nine, and then Great. X is. Uh, just Pravanya Pele. Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. keep it growing up yeah, for yeah, Elon, yeah. of course. Yeah. And um, oh, definitely try and see Pravanya at all of her shows. Also, definitely go to the Faulty, tow- Faulty Towers, even. <laughs> um, di- dining experience. I'm um, not endorsing that. Really, I think we must. And, um, <laughs> no, I and, don't think we must. And you know what? I think Pravanya would like to say to all of you, have an egg. Enjoy yourself. Shall I say that? Yeah. H- have an egg. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Oh my God. How is she not the face of eggs? <laughs> Woo! Thank you so much to our executive producers who really keep this podcast going. It's the classics. It's Guy Goodman. It's Simon Moores. It's Mary Fox. It's Annie Tonner. It's Sarah Deakin. It's Oliver Jago and Anthony Conway. Matthew Thomas, Madeline Quinn and Grace O'Reilly. Genuinely, thank you to everyone who gives us any money at all. We are so grateful and you are genuinely helping us keep the podcast going. And also, um, the snacks uh, we get to eat now. Oh my God, that's not what I meant. I meant that we actually get to pay... Alex and Andrew and M, and then we actually get to have a cool studio which we can't actually necessarily afford for long but we'll get somewhere new and then we'll be able to afford yeah. that <laughs> and, but the point is thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for supporting the podcast it means so much to us every time we we realise there's somebody else um, on the Patreon it honestly excites us thank you a little grateful the, Catherine but so I mean cute. I just I know but it's so I really cute. think like I don't think people realise how much it means to us it's so great so thank you mm-hmm. thank you to our producers Richard Bicknell L, Richard Bold Neil Redmond Victoria Hutchison Harold Van Dyke Tim and Dom David Walker Rachel R Sadie Cashmore Claire Owen Jones Jess and Nick Zoe Sarah and Molly Raya Fink Cordelia, Cordelia. oh my that was from memory. That was crazy. Rachel Page, Helen A, Tina Lindsay, Graham Marsh, Amy O'Reardon, Abby Wharf, Matt Sims, Luke Bright, Leah, Kate Spencer, Tristan, Liz Forge, Taz, Anthony, or Anthony, who's to say, Chloe, Becky Fox, Emily G, Dean Michael, Stephanie Catraccia, Sophie... Ch- Ch- Chivers, Chivers. Chivers, 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 Chivers. Carrie Seuss, we guess, Charlie A, KC, Hayley Wharf, and our new producer, Ozzy Steph. Ozzy Steph. Steph. <laughs> Ozzy Steph. We love Which to I, see we, it. we're all assuming is a nickname, but I really hope there's someone out there. First name Ozzy, second name Steph. <laughs> well, on Queer Ultimatum, there was an Australian called Ozzy. Not like genuine christened first name. I don't know because their pronouns were also Ozzy. Iconic. I know. Iconic. Yeah, I guess you can be too Australian. Well, shout out to all the Aussies out there. Thank you so much. <laughs>